Hey guys, um, I'm in my closet, <laughs> literally, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to look masculine uh, for people who are transgender or just tomboys. I don't pass very well, but that's just the world we live in, um, but I'm going to show you everything that I use and I do, as well as some stuff that I heard on the internet on how to look masculine, and we're going to go head to toe with this list of how to things. I look masculine. So first up on the head to toe is hair. Um, most guys cut their hair short, but if you have an unsupported family or something and you can't cut your hair short, you can, a lot of people tuck their hair up into a beanie and like they use a ponytail, they go whoop, and their back hair is like their bangs and they tuck it up into a beanie or their hood or something and it looks like they have short hair and also with your hair don't dye it I know this is such a hypocrite thing for me to say because I recently dyed my hair blue like don't dye it crazy colors is what I mean but I recently dyed my hair blue and it's fading back to brown but mostly girls dye their hair like crazy colors you can dye it black or brown or blonde and that won't look as, like, different. Because usually guys aren't as artistic and, like, colorful as girls are. Feel free to actually dye your hair. Because I dye my hair and I still, like, people, like, one lady at Starbucks called me a boy when I had dyed hair. So, like, whatever. Like, I know guys with dyed hair, but it's just not as common as girls with dyed hair. And also on the head, um, snapbacks are, and, like, Beanies, snapbacks, and just, but mostly snapbacks are just your best friend. Like, guy hats, they make you look like ten times more masculine. And I only have this one snapback, but I wear it, like, a lot of the time. Because it just works so well to make me look masculine. Um, next, I'm going to show you how to... Do your eyebrows. A lot of people say don't do your eyebrows because it looks obviously like makeup. I'm going to show you how to do it where it doesn't so obviously look like makeup. Uh, here I have some nude eyeshadows. A lot of people use eyebrow pencils to fill in their eyebrows. This looks more like makeup. Uh, what you do to fill in your eyebrows is you take like two brushes, like a little bit, and where your eyebrow starts to get thick, you put just a little on, and I usually still rub a little off, and it just looks like it's slightly bushier, like not a lot. If it looked a lot bushier, it would probably look obviously like makeup. But it just looks mildly bushier and a little more obvious. Another thing with your eyebrows is to raise them and furrow them. Guys typically like this instinctive response when they like something. They raise their eyebrows. Like if they like a pretty girl, I've heard that guys raise their eyebrows. Like that's just kind of a common thing that they do. And now next is chest. Obviously uh, most people bind. But some people can't tell their mom, hey, I want a binder because they're not out or their mom won't buy them one. Uh, so I'm going to like tell you a little tip of what I did before I had a binder. I would wear like three sports bras. Like I know this isn't quite healthy, but if you're really struggling, like it was the winter and in my town it's really cold. So you probably can't do this in like Arizona or anything. But I wore three sports bras and three tank tops, usually under some, like, big t-shirt. And it would flatten me out a lot better, like, sometimes even better than my binder, but I know my binder is a lot healthier. I actually also, this is definitely not safe to not do this, but I would wear a tank top and I would wrap duct tape around it. And I could not breathe, but, like, I felt so good. Like, you definitely don't do that because... Duct tape is not fabric. It does not expand when you breathe. It has no elasticity whatsoever. 
and I would just like my I couldn't take a full breath in at all because I was constricted by the duct tape but it flattened me out a lot um my next up on my notes is uh button ups and zip ups that's why I'm wearing a button up in this video to show you how well it flattens your chest because I for some reason the buttons just make it a little stiffer and with zip ups the zipper does the same but if it's a hot day out uh, usually you can wear a baggy t-shirt and that has like a plastic you know how some designs on shirts are plasticky and kinda stiff the stiff design prevents it from like shaping to your chest and clinging uh, and it looks more just flat Sorry if there's white noise, I'm in a closet with, um, a water heater. So, I put some soundproof foam in between me and the water heater, but you can probably still hear it. Um, uh, next is legs. Um, like, the main pants you can wear, uh, are, like, joggers, sweats, jeans, and like basketball shorts usually those don't like accentuate any feminine features on your legs that's pretty much all I have to say about pants I wear a pretty wide size of jeans which are actually harder to find so I'm sorry if you're like me and you have wide hips and can't wear a lot of jeans because they're kinda of rare to find jeans in a, such a wide size and short size um, don't shave your legs is my next tip uh, because when you're wearing shorts you know guys don't shave their legs you know that's pretty much it for that one and this one next is feet I'm not wearing shoes so look at my little tootsies <laughs> next is feet um, wear shoe lifts like the maximum size they usually come in is like three inches or 2.75 inches um if you can't tell your mom or dad or guardian why you're buying shoe lifts you know like I just want to look taller well, just wear high heels like whatever uh if you can't buy shoe lifts you can make some with pool noodles <laughs> my Mom actually taught me this. Uh, you take the pool noodle and you cut it up, and you, it's like an inch thick. You can stack it up, probably tape it together with duct tape, and just put it in the heel of your shoe, and you're like three inches tired, <laughs> taller. Um, and my next and final tip is to wear men's or boys' shoes, and don't be afraid to shop in the boys' shoes section if you have small feet. They're gonna look fine. They're gonna look masculine, and probably nobody looks at your feet unless they're weird. So, like, just as long as you have, like, manly shoes that aren't, like, really covered in flowers or something, you're probably gonna be fine. And even if they're covered in flowers, nobody's gonna look at them from your feet. So, like, unless they're, like, a foot fetishist. But, like, the feet don't really matter. So, maybe, like, if you really wanna go in depth with it, you can wear, why, bleh, wear a shoe size up and wear the shoe lifts so they take up more shoe space and then it looks like you have bigger feet in public. I don't know. Well, peace out guys. I'm going to touch you on my foot. <laughs>